Hello, YouTubers. Mega Geek Mixer here. Get I'm going to give you my thoughts on the trailer of the Titans. This is late, but hey, we can't all make it on time. And hey, better late than ever, right? Yeah, of course it is. But here's my thoughts on the trailer. Basically, when I first saw it, I didn't really know what to say. Then as I was able to give it some time, I was able to put it a little more into perspective. And, I have, and I'm a bit excited for it. Not like too excited, but a little more excited than probably than most people out there because I've heard some other people's thoughts and most people don't like it. Mostly because they don't like this whole dark and gritty aspects. Because let's face it, when you think about the Teen Titans or the Titans, you always think about the light, the TV series of 2003. The one where it was lighthearted with some goofy comedy in there and it had some serious dark aspects in there but not as serious as we're seeing in this trailer here but i'm going to give you guys my thoughts on it right here right now so i'm going to start off with dick grayson dick grayson in this one he's he's sound he looks more like he's jason todd instead of dick grayson which is what most people would have a problem with and i can understand that but we also got to remember here they did say it in the um show run the show runners did let us know that he is gonna have had his fallout with batman and he's at a spot right now where he's he's lost he's confused and angry and he's trying to get out of batman's shadow as it were because hey we all know that at, at every iteration out there dick grayson and bruce wayne batman and robin when they've had a fallout Nightwing's at a spot where he's lost and really doesn't know what to do with his life as he's trying to work his way out of getting out of Batman's shadow so he can become his own hero and make his road to being Nightwing. Which is, I'm guessing, why we're seeing him like this. I, why he's cussing, swearing and everything like that and having this attitude where, where he's just like taking it out on criminals very violently. I think that's what it is. He's... He's got all this anger, all this frustration, and he's just, the best way to take it out is beating people up. And let's be honest, there are many people out there in the real world who will do that. Yeah, especially if they're provoked enough. Yeah, they're going to take it out on you. So that seems to be what it is right here with Dick Grayson. Now, another thing most people are having a problem with is the fact that he said the F-bomb word. Yeah, and that... And I can get it. Dick Grayson, he's not really known for cussing because he's this very cheerful, carefree guy who's able to pretty much move on pretty quickly. Like, sure, he deals with some traumas and he deals with it for a while, but he's able to get through it later on. As we saw, he's a, he was able to move on from his parents' death, where unfortunately with Bruce, that's not the case. But yeah. Now, now me, I admit, I have a little... I'm not comfortable with him him cussing that much either and they didn't say there would be a lot of f-bombs and s s bombs out there but we also got to remember especially if any of y'all have seen the dc animated movies recently such as son of batman yeah son of batman batman versus robin and batman bad blood which nightwing has been in both of those and he has and he has cussed a few times in there he's never said too many of them he said a few of them and he's almost came very close to saying the F-bomb word in Son of Batman, but Alfred stopped him right there. But for the most part, I like I do like that we're getting this part where he's at the spot where he's lost and everything and trying to work on getting out of Batman's shadow. Because that's where I believe as he's working with the Titans at the end of at the end of this show, or pretty much the end of this season. He'll be out of his dark base and be working into being the Dick Grayson we all know and love. Now, moving on to, to Raven, who is the other big part of this trailer. Yeah, now in this trailer, this is where I don't really have a problem with the dark and grittiness. Now, as they've said, Raven is going to be the mostly the focus in this first season here. Because as we saw in the trailer, she's wandering around. She comes across a circus that the Flying Graysons used to belong to. And during her time and everything, she eventually comes across Grayson. And no doubt through her powers or something, she's able to know he's, the, he's that person she saw in the Flying Grayson incident. Yeah. Yeah. Now, whether that means she knows he's Robin or not, I don't know. But another thing we can't... But like I said, the dark and grittiness, I'm going to explain why I'm okay with that in this aspect. As I said, this season is going to focus on Raven 
And when it comes to her powers with, with being half demon and her powers being dark and everything, I can understand why it's more dark and gritty and everything like that. Yeah. But, but at the same time, most people still have their doubts because even though, while well, they'll probably agree that the dark and grittiness of everything about Raven works well for it and everything, I guess they're worried about the execution because that's how DC's not known for doing the execution right when it comes to the dark and grittiness aspect. So here's open, here's open. But what I really loved about seeing this trailer is that it's showing us they're sticking to the comic book roots and the fact that if any of y'all have seen Marv Wolfman and George Perez's time on the Teen Titans, it is Raven who brought the team together. Yeah, if you look at the issues, the sto first story arc with the new Teen Titans issue back in George Perez and Marv Wolfman's time, it is Raven who brought the team together. And it seems that's exactly what's going to be happening in the TV series. Raven's going to be the source that brings this team together. Yeah, it's she's, she's going to run into Robin, and eventually they're going to cross paths with Starfire and Beast Boy. And real quick, I want to go ahead and get into those guys, because they weren't really shown in this trailer so much, so we can't put too much to say on them, what the, how they're going to meet up and everything. But I will say, I do like the effect. I do like the effects and the fact that Starfire's hair is glowing when she's using her powers and her eyes are turning green and everything. The only thing I'm still debating on and still don't really know what to say is the fact that she's actually shooting fire instead of star bolts and everything. And with Beast Boy, with the few scenes we got for him, we don't. Unfortunately, we didn't see how they're gonna gonna do the um, effect, special effects and everything when he's transforming into animals. But we did see the color skin, oh, and for the most part, I like it. I would just say make the co the skin color more br brighter green because it looks like we're seeing more of the actual actor's skin skin instead. But either case, that. That's all we know really for them, but we do know that that Raven and uh, Dick Grayson will be meeting up with those guys as they're, as they're going around and helping. Now back to Raven, it seems like in this TV series she doesn't know about her powers or about her father Trigon, because as we saw at the ending of that trailer, she, she said that my mom says there's no such thing as monsters, and in another part of the trailer, she said there is something evil inside of me. So it's almost like saying she doesn't know what she is, and she's trying to figure it out since her mother has never told her. Now, we don't know if her mother's alive in this one or not. She's most likely probably dead, but we don't know for certain. But from the way things look, it looks like she's dead, and Raven's just an orphan running around looking looking for answers or something. But in either case, and one more thing I'm also going to get into is the fact that we saw Huck and Dove in this sh in this show too. We didn't we only saw a little bit of him. We only saw him in an action scene really. And I don't now me, I don't know much about Huck and Dove, but from what what little I've seen about him, Hawk, the guy, the red guy, the guy who has the red costume, he's more of the temperate guy, the hot-headed one and violent one, whereas Dove, I think she's more of the com person to keep him calm and everything. I don't really know much, I don't know the history of Hawk and Dove because I don't know much about them. I've only had a few cross-ins with their characters with with the Titans comic, the one that stuck, what was it called? Yeah, Titans Hunt, Titans Hunt. Yeah, that's pretty much the only one I've ever saw of knowing anything about them. So if any of y'all know the history of Hawk and Doe, please leave it in the comment section down below. Because I will, I will admit, since they're going to be in this series, I would like to know a little more about them. We also got confirmation that Jason Todd and Donna Troy will be in this mo in this TV series too. <laughs> I'm saying movie because, <laughs> well, the, the fact that all the stuff they're pulling out in this TV series, it makes you think that you're going to be watching an R-rated movie. And they have admitted that it's going to be that. But... Either case, they did say Donna Troy and Jason Todd will be in there, but they haven't said what exactly roles they'll be playing. So we'll just have to see and wait and see how that goes. Now in this one, it doesn't look like for certain Jason Todd has become Red Hood yet. I don't think he has, because in the comic book series, I think he's still Robin when Robin's in that phase where he's still trying to figure get out of Batman's shadow there. But we'll see. But overall, I do like 
I do like the direction they're going in to an extent. I have my doubts about it because, like I said, DC hasn't really been making good scores when they go in the dark and gritty aspects. The only way they succeed with that if it's just focusing on Batman. I don't know how it's going to work for the Titans since they are really known for more lightheartedness and stuff. But I guess in the end, if they can still put in conjunction about the fact that we're still family here. Because the thing about the Titans is they're people who, who are pin, pr pretty much are lost, are outsiders and whatnot. And they're, a team, and they're a team that comes together and form a sort of family of people who are outcasts and everything. People who can be together and understand each other. But in either case, if you guys liked anything I had to say, please, please hit that like button. And if there's anything you'd like to tell me in the comment section down below, please let me know. And if you, you guys want to hear more, continue to watch my channel of Mega Geek Mixer, where I bring you things geek-related. Until then, have an awesome day. Bye!